in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. We come to pray. Let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Be Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for time catching. Grant as we pray, Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs, St. Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading is from Job, chapter 1, 6 through 22. One day when the angels of God came to present themselves before the Lord, Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, Whence do you come? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From roaming the earth and patrolling it. And the Lord said to Satan, have you noticed my servant Job? And that there is no one on earth like him, blameless and upright, fearing God and avoiding evil. But Satan answered the Lord and said, It is for nothing that Job is God-fearing. Have you not surrounded him and his family and all that he has with your protection? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his livestock are spread over the land. But now put forth your hand and touch anything that he has, and surely he will blaspheme you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold all that he has in your power. Only do not lay a hand upon his person. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And so one day, while his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen, were, the oxen were plowing and the asses grazing beside them. And the Salvians carried them off in a raid. They put the herdsmen to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Lightning has fallen from heaven and struck the sheep and their shepherds and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed the three columns. Seized the camels, carried them off, and put those tending them to the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was yet speaking, another came and said, Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their eldest brother, when suddenly a great wind came across the desert and smote the four corners of the house. It fell upon the young people, and they are dead. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job began to tear his cloak and cut off his hair. He cast himself prostrate upon the ground and said, Naked I came forth from my mother's womb, and naked shall I go back again. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job did not sin, nor did he say anything disrespect, disrespectful of God. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Response to old Psalm number 17. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Hear, O Lord, a judge.
just sing. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer, my lips without deceit. Incline your ear to me and hear my heart. From you let my judgment come. Your eyes behold what is right. Though you test my heart, searching it in the night, though you try me with fire, you shall find no malice in me. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. I call upon you, for you will answer me. O oh God, incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies. O oh, Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Incline your ear to me and hear my word. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow in our company. Jesus said to him, Do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for the intercession of St. Joseph, hope the sick, patron of the dying, protector of the Holy Church. Guard us in this time of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, that he guide the church with wisdom and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may preach and with courage say the truth in this time of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the coronavirus, may they link their suffering to the redemptive suffering of Jesus Christ for the salvation of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God for this day and all its opportunities. May we live in God's love this day and do his will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual tree. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good laws, holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. We ask and thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. 
In your mercy, you give order to their faith, and in their endurance, the, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth, sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of heaven, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, but not in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, but not in the highest. This morning we pray the second Eucharistic prayer and one quote from St. Augustine. What you see is the bread and the chalice. That is what your eyes report to you. But what your faith obliges you to accept is that the bread is the body of Christ and the wine is the blood of Christ. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Louis, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternity. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawn strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.